Hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just starting a new series called Flutter 10 minute series. Well in the series I'll be talking about a particular Flutter concept on the whole where my uh, discussion and my use case or my implement implementation will be only on that particular topic. So my UI will also concentrate only on that topic. So today's topic is page route builder. Now before I start talking about the page route builder I think it's very important to understand what a stack and a route is in Flutter. Now, when I say route, route is the one that actually tells which page to load. Say, for example, I have two screens and when I click on a button on the first screen, it routes me to the second screen. Now, who does this? The route is the one which actually does this job. Now, then what is the job of the stack? The stack is to ensure, it makes sure that it loads one on top of the existing one. So when I switch from my first screen to the second screen, my stack will ensure that the first screen is below and my second screen is on top of the first screen. So that's the job of stack and route. Now in Flutter, who does this? So the material page route does the routing part and the navigator does the stack part, like the push and popping of the pages now so if i'm talking about material page route then why am i using a page route builder what's the difference between it now if you're using a material page route it does the routing that is it does the transition or switching of screens in a platform specific animation so depending on your platform it does the animation but if you use a page route builder, you can do a custom animation. That is when I transit from one screen to other, I can give my own custom transitions. So first I'm going to show you the demo of the app using a material page route. And then I'll show you using a page route builder. You could see the difference how the transition happens. So let me clear the template and then we are good to go with the uh, demonstration. All right, so here I have a simple uh, page with just one background image and a button saying left or right. So I'm going to click this and you can see how the transition happens to the second screen. It's quick and it's some default animation. Now, when I switch back to my first screen, you can see how the transition happens. Now, instead of you, this is using material page route. Now, I'm going to use the same thing using the page route builder and you can see how the animation how I am able to give a particular animation to this transition I mean the route and you can see how it transits so let me quickly change the navigation part here so I'm going to enable this and then comment this part on my first screen and similar way I'm also going to do the second screen and then comment this part and the transition or the animation or the transition that I'm using here is the fade transition with a curved animation. I'll explain you with the regarding the implementation part. We will be covering it in a second. So first, let's see how this looks using a, a page route builder. So let me build this. All right. So it's built and by using the page route builder, when I'm clicking on the um, right icon, you can see how my second screen transits so you can see that it slowly fades in and it's not happening it's not using the default transition so it's using my fade in transition with the fast out slow in curves so i'll show you one more time and then we will move on with the implementation part so there you go you can see how it transits slowly with the fade transition all right so let me clear the template and we can start with the implementation all right, so first let me explain you the UI part. It's a very simple uh, image that occupies the entire screen with two icons. So similar way, my second screen was also with another image and the left and right icon. So to see here, it's a simple uh, bare bone flutter um, structure um, which has a stack so that I can place the icons over the image and it has a container with a image which box fit fill mode so this ensures that and i've given the width and height 
um, matching the screen so that it picks up the entire screen. Simple. Then I've used the position widgets for the arrows. So I've said top 280 right so that I get one arrow on the right and on one on the left as described here. So then for the icon, I've used a material button and then font awesome icon. And then on press, what I'm going to do is, this is where the action comes into it, where we'll use the um, navigator. So first thing, use navigator dot. We're going to push. So first thing, it's the push. And the first parameter that we need to pass is the context. And then next is my custom router. If it was a material page route, it would have been just the second screen name. So here it's going to be my router. In a second, I'll show you the implementation of the my route. And then I'm going to say it's going to be my second screen, which I've defined here. So that's it. This is what we have to define and the rest would be taken care by my, my route um, functionality. So let's see. So this is what we have defined. So on press, it um, navigates to the second screen with my custom router. And what does my my router does is we have to define the transition here. So moving on to the my route. So what you have to do is you have to define your router and make sure that it extends the page route builder. Now inside this, we would be defining the two factors. Before that, we need to define first the duration. So the duration that we would be defining would be three seconds in my use case. It, it, it varies depending on your use case. And next, since I'm using page route builder, it needs few parameters like it needs a page builder and it needs the transition builder. And then you use your um, fade transition or what trans whatever transition you want to define. So first thing we got to define the page builder and then we got to define the transition builder so these are two simple factors uh, let me quickly grab the code and i'll show you what it does all right so page builder it has few properties that's the context animation and your secondary animation similar way the transition builder also has the same properties with the widget child now the, the transition part comes here. Now what kind of transition you want? Now in my case, I've used a fade transition. I've given an opacity and the curved animation with the curves. So if you can use a scale transition or you could use a rotation transition or a slide. So depending on that, the property changes, like say for rotation, it would be turns instead of opacity. So this is what it does when it rotates from first screen to second screen. This is the part and on whom does this transition apply is your child component. And my child component is nothing but my second screen. That is what is routing. Now, similar way on your second screen, you can add uh, the same navigator push. Um, and instead of second screen, it would be the first screen. So that's it. So you're using a custom router with the page route builder to achieve this custom transition. So I'll quickly build this and I'll show you the output once again. All right. So using page route builder with the fade transition, you can see that the transition happens very uh, slowly with the fade uh, curved animation and a fast out slow in. Now to show you a quick demo, instead of a fade transition, what if I use a scale transition? So let's see how it looks. So I've just used scale transition and added a factor called scale and use the same properties. And if I do a quick hot restart, all right, so using a scale transition with a page route builder, um, you can see the transition. When I click on this, you can see the transition, how it happens. It's coming from an inside with a fast out slow in. So yeah, that's it for this video. And this is how you implement um, your own animation, custom animations using page route builders while you're navigating from one screen to another screen. So if you like this video, please give it a like and do subscribe. And if you find this informative, please do share it. Thank you.